Have you ever wondered what would happen if the sun suddenly erupted and sent a massive blast of plasma and magnetic fields towards the Earth? Well, you don't have to wonder anymore because that's exactly what happened recently when a solar eruption, also known as a coronal mass ejection CME, occurred on the sun's surface. And guess what? It's heading our way. This isn't a drill, folks. It's a real and rare event that could have astonishing effects on our planet and our lives. In this video, we'll cover everything about this solar storm, its significance, why it matters, and how you can observe it. We'll also delve into how a solar storm can impact various systems and animals, and discuss the advantages and challenges of witnessing this cosmic phenomenon. So buckle up and prepare for an extraordinary experience because this is a unique chance to witness the awe-inspiring might of the solar connection. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Before delving into the specifics of the present solar storm, let's first grasp the concept of a geomagnetic storm and how it's gauged. A geomagnetic storm denotes a disruption in the Earth's magnetosphere, the region around our planet influenced by its magnetic field. This shield guards us against detrimental radiation and particles emanating from the sun and other celestial sources. Nonetheless, at times, external factors like coronal mass ejections CMEs, explosive releases of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, can unsettle the magnetosphere. These ejections can travel at speeds ranging from 250 to 2,500 kilometers per second and reach Earth within one to five days. Upon encountering Earth's magnetic field, a CME can trigger a geomagnetic storm quantified by the Planetary K Index. This index spans from 0 to 9, with 0 representing no geomagnetic activity and 9 signaling an extreme geomagnetic storm. The severity of geomagnetic storms is categorized into levels G1 minor, G2 moderate, G3 strong, G4 severe, and G5 extreme. Each level exerts varying effects on diverse systems and animals, which we'll explore later. For now, let's focus on the ongoing geomagnetic storm watch issued by NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, the authoritative source for space weather alerts and forecasts. As per NOAA's assessment, the coronal mass ejection CME, that occurred on September 15, 2023, carries the potential to escalate to a G2 moderate level. This suggests the likelihood of witnessing aurora lights or northern lights in certain parts of the U.S. and other global regions. These captivating light displays result from the interaction between charged particles from the sun and Earth's atmosphere, casting vibrant hues across the sky. Typically, aurora lights manifest near the poles where Earth's magnetic field holds sway, yet occasionally, they grace lower latitudes contingent upon the intensity of the geomagnetic storm. According to NOAA's projections, aurora lights may grace certain U.S. areas including Alaska, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Maine, and New Hampshire. However, the visibility of these phenomena hinges on additional factors such as weather conditions, geographic location, and the time of night. Hence, if you find yourself fortunate enough to be in one of these locales, it's advisable to gaze skyward during a clear and dark night in hopes of witnessing this celestial spectacle. Now that we understand the nature of geomagnetic storms and their ability to produce aurora lights, let's explore their broader impacts on various systems and wildlife, encompassing both positive and negative effects. Here are some examples of how geomagnetic storms can influence communication, navigation, power grids, satellites, and wildlife. Firstly, communication. Geomagnetic storms can disrupt communication systems by inducing radio blackouts, interference, and signal distortion. This disruption extends to radio signals such as AM, FM, 
shortwave, and ham radio, as well as television and telephone transmissions. For instance, in 1989, a geomagnetic storm precipitated a radio blackout, disrupting communication between ground control and the space shuttle Discovery, carrying a crew of five astronauts. The blackout endured for approximately 15 minutes, during which the astronauts lost contact with mission control. Fortunately, the blackout didn't lead to any significant issues, and the shuttle safely completed its mission. Fourth, satellites. A geomagnetic storm can impact satellites by causing disruptions in their orbits and communication systems. These disruptions can lead to temporary loss of signal, malfunctions, and potential damage to satellite components. For instance, during severe geomagnetic storms, satellites may experience increased atmospheric drag, altering their trajectories and affecting their ability to provide accurate data and services. Finally, wildlife. Geomagnetic storms can disrupt the biological rhythms, migration routes, and magnetic navigation abilities of various species, impacting their behavior and survival. This disruption affects a wide range of creatures, including birds, fish, whales, turtles, bees, and bats, which rely on Earth's magnetic field for guidance. For instance, in 2014, a geomagnetic storm led to birds flying off course, fish swimming in erratic patterns, whales becoming stranded, bees losing their way back to hives, and bats experiencing difficulties in echolocation. These disturbances highlight the vulnerability of wildlife to the effects of geomagnetic storms. After understanding the impacts of a geomagnetic storm, you may be curious about how to observe the aurora lights and where to find optimal viewing locations. Well, fear not, as we have some helpful tips to ensure you make the most of this remarkable phenomenon. Here's what you need to know and do to witness the aurora lights. First and foremost, seek out a location with a dark, unobstructed sky, far from city lights and pollution. The darker and clearer the sky, the better your chances of spotting the aurora lights. An open expanse will also afford you a broader view of the horizon, where the aurora lights typically manifest. Next, utilize online tools to pinpoint prime viewing spots, along with the optimal time and date for observing the aurora lights. Websites like Aurora Forecast, Aurora Service, and Aurora Alerts offer real-time maps, alerts, and predictions of aurora activity. These resources also provide information on the level of geomagnetic storm, the K-Index, and the Aurora Oval, serving as indicators of the light's intensity and location. Lastly, ensure you dress warmly and bring along a camera. Aurora lights predominantly occur at night when temperatures are low, so dress in layers to stay comfortable. Additionally, equip yourself with a camera, preferably a DSLR or smartphone with a quality camera, to capture the enchanting hues of the aurora lights. Consider bringing a tripod, a remote shutter, and a wide-angle lens to enhance your photography and minimize camera shake. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about solar storms, geomagnetic storms, and aurora lights. This presents a rare and thrilling opportunity to witness the mesmerizing beauty and force of the solar connection, and we urge you not to let it slip by. We hope you enjoyed this video and gleaned some new and intriguing insights. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and we'll do our best to address them. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy stargazing!